I got to tell you, today was a, a pretty interesting day, and I wanted to share with you a conversation that I had with somebody that's close to me, and just recapping her journey and to how she started to prepare herself for, for retirement. Um, I have somebody that's close to me that, that I've known for a period of time, and when I told her that I was retiring, uh, she showed some interest, but really felt overwhelmed with all of the information. And so what, I, what I'd like to share is how I think her journey uh, may resonate with some of you. But before I do that, I just ask that you take a moment, hit the subscribe button, hit the like button so we can continue to grow the channel and get out to as many people uh, that may be able to benefit uh, from some of the information on the channel. And I ask that if this resonates with you and you think somebody else may benefit from this information, share this information with them. You could share the link. And if there's uh, if, if there's anything you'd like to add, then you could certainly put that in the comments. I read all the comments and I try to respond to all the comments and move forward. But anyway, let's let's get into it. So in this conversation today, I was just we were just talking about things in general. It's a, it's a friend of mine and she's a she's an entrepreneur. She owns a a couple of businesses and you know really just an inspiring young lady that is has is comes from humble beginnings but has really taken life by the horns and, and wanted to move forward with with life and 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 move her businesses forward and, and things like that and just just inspiring i i can't say anything more about that but it was interesting because i remember when i told her that uh, i was going to retire and She's about 10 years, just about 10 years younger than me. Uh, I'm 52, uh, so she's about 10 years younger than me. And so I told her that, you know, I, I wanted to retire. And the first thing she said, the first thing out of her mouth is like, that's great. I want to be like you. And I think she was joking, but I think she was halfway joking. Um, I, I think for her, the idea of retirement was was unattainable uh, because she didn't have access to a lot of information. And so I told her, I said, in a very serious tone, I said, you can, let me tell you how. And so she didn't believe me at first. And you know, I could tell that by the way she looked at me that she thought, okay, what's this guy? What are you gonna say here? You know, it sounds too good to be true. You're selling snake oil. And we started talking a little bit about the different ways that people could save for retirement and put money away and, and those types of things. And, and, and she hit me with the fact that I thought was, that was, that was pretty important is that, you know, she was never educated or told about the different types of retirement accounts. You know, I thought it was common knowledge. Everybody knows about the 401k. Everybody knows about 403bs. Everybody knows about Roth IRAs, but she's self-employed. So she doesn't have an employer that's hounding her about these things. Uh, growing up, nobody's ever took the time to educate her about some of these things. And so I said, you know, if you're serious about it, I want to check because there's we there are some very specific things we can do to get you down that path. And so by the time you get, you know, when, when you when you get older, you'll be in a position to start thinking about what that pathway looks like. And so uh, I gave her a book and I gave her a copy of the book that, that got me started thinking about saving money and putting money away. Um, and that book that I used was the uh, nine uh, habits of financial free or the nine steps to financial freedom by Susie Orman. I, I got this book. It had to have been 25 years ago or so, 20 years ago. A friend of mine gave it to me for my birthday and I read it. And it's interesting because at that time I had no idea about the different I didn't understand the, the, the concept of a living trust. I didn't understand the different types of accounts. I didn't understand compound interest. And that book really opened my eyes to the possibilities that were there. It didn't give me all the answers, but no one source gives you all of the answers. But it, it gave me some pretty good information that stuck with me. And I figured, well, if it works, let me try it. And, you know, 20 plus years later, here I am. So I gave her a copy of that book and she read it and she would ask me questions about it and tell me about pieces that didn't necessarily make sense to her and, and all that. But she read it and told me, hey, you know, I want to move forward. So I said, well, 
let's uh, let's get after it. So I asked her, what is it that you want to do? And she says, you know, I want to start putting some money away so I could I could start uh, retiring. You know, the, the beauty is that she has a, a son in college. And, and the great part about that is he's on a on a uh, academic scholarship. So the the college picture isn't as wasn't as dire or as, as pressing at this point. As it, now she has a younger son that she'll probably start to save for. But again, it's not about trying to solve the entire picture in one fell swoop because it's it's a fairly overwhelming endeavor, and it's especially for somebody that that never learned about this stuff as a you know as a youngster. And so I introduced her to a financial advisor. Um, I have a I have a, somebody that I work with who's done a great job for me, and so I I made the introduction and, and the way that we did it is I called him and said, look, I have somebody that's interested in, in getting some information to uh, learn how to, to hopefully save for retirement in the future. Uh, she's self-employed. She's really ambitious and she's really looking for somebody that could, that could you know, walk her through the steps to help her get to that point. And so he said, that'd be great. And so we had a phone call. And, and the way that I introduced her is I was on the call with her. Uh, because, again, it's daunting talking to people you don't know about things you don't understand. And so I, I got on the phone with her and, and we had a conversation. And, uh, you know, and then when we got to the specific, when she got to the specific details, you know, I excused myself off of the call because I think that was the right thing to do. And they continued to talk. And, uh you know, so now, so they, they, so the outcome of that call is she opened a, uh, she opened a, like a Roth IRA or something uh, with the financial advisor as the first step to moving down the path. And and since that moment, she's been, I, I her energy around retirement is just incredible. You know, before it was a dream, now it's a goal. And she, she really communicates and it, and it just comes across when you talk to her that she really feels empowered uh, to move towards meeting her retirement goal. You know, I think she recognizes that it's not going to be today or tomorrow, and that there's other things that she needs to do, but she's she's incredibly excited about the prospect, the realistic prospect of retiring, because again, nobody's talked to her about it. Um, and so now what she's, what she's, so she's, now she's going to be working with him to get resources to an attorney that are going to help her uh, work on a trust to help protect her business assets uh, as as she goes forward and and moves towards that. And and there's a whole bunch of pieces. You know, you've got the savings, you've got the long term care component, you've got the trust component, you have the different types of insurances. There's a whole bunch of stuff that that go into that picture that a professional can help you with. But now. She has, you know, as I like to say, I've got a guy that does this. She has a guy now that can help her get to where she wants to be. And I'm I'm incredibly excited for her. And I, when I was talking to her today, this is somebody that inspires me um, because I always believe and, and I, I tell all my friends that I think it's important that people open themselves up to taking in and processing and internalizing new information it's not always going to be what we've, we've always known. And unfortunately for some of us, uh, you know, the idea of having uh, developing money and thinking about retiring is a new concept. And so part of the goal of this channel is to really make that information accessible to people. Um, you know, quite honestly, I look around at all these YouTube channels and, and, and nobody looks like me and, I, I'm not saying, and and you know, I'm not I'm not making a broader statement than that, but uh, it kind of goes to show that you know there may not be people that are speaking uh, to to certain groups that uh, that that people relate to, and so it becomes a matter of well, I just can't do it. And I think she fell into that category. Uh, nobody was nobody was really talking to her when she would research it, and so I think this is just to me. I'm incredibly excited about it. Uh, I think it's I think it's great, and and this right here is is the goal of the channel. Uh, this is why I do this. Um, it's it's an accessible thing. You know, I'm a kid that grew up in in a neighborhood where you know a lot of people worked a long time, but I was fortunate enough 
to have parents that, that taught me certain things and got my mind working in a, in a certain way. But I also think that it's, that it's important that others get access to that information and what better way than YouTube. So that's, that's why I, I always ask that you share the channel, you subscribe to the channel because I want to continue to get this channel out to, to other people so we can continue, um, you know, building our community in that way to, to, to really grow people's opportunities. And if I, if any, but if any of you have that same need or have that same desire, I could certainly, you know, work with you to do that. And and my idea is I'm not trying to charge some people for it. I'm not trying to make money off of it. I'm not even, there's nothing, there's, the only thing in it for me is the fact that I've helped you. And, and, and again, I've mentioned before that my mission statement is to uplift the human condition in any way that I can. So again, I ask that you like this channel, that you subscribe to this channel. And if you, uh, if you have any questions or comments or there's something else you'd like to see, uh, put it in the comments. And I, I read all the comments. I, re I try to respond to all the comments, but I, it'll certainly help us have more robust conversations on, on topics going forward. So have a good rest of your day. Thank you for taking your time and we will connect soon. Thank you.